Hi, this is Sandra Taylor, and you're watching Ken Boxer Live on TVSB. And you're not going to want to miss this episode because I tell you the ins and outs of what it's like to shoot for Playboy. So tune in, don't miss it. Terry Riken Realtor proudly presents Ken Boxer Live. From the American Riviera in Santa Barbara, California, it's Ken Boxer Live, Santa Barbara's one and only entertainment talk show. Let's welcome the host of the show, Ken Boxer. Kind. Thank you so very much. I'm Ken Boxer, and this is Ken Boxer Live. Got a great show for you tonight, but before we begin, I just want to give you a few bits of information. We have, I want to welcome to our show, we have two directors that have come on board. We have J.P. Montalvo and Erica Schweitzer. Let's give it up for them. They're now part of the crew. Love it. Welcome. Also, so very excited. This show has been nominated for a WAVE Award, which is under the title Best Talk Show in Community Television. And there's seven states that are um, involved in this WAVE Award presentation. And we are one of five nominees. So we're so delighted to be in that. We'll find out, we'll find out at the end of this month whether we win the award. And, as I've been doing now for the past three months, I have to invite, I want to invite, wouldn't we like to have Ellen DeGeneres appear on this show? Yeah. Yeah. She's a local, so if anybody knows, and you know, we're on every day of the week, on YouTube, 24-7. Ellen, if you're watching, you're only like a, about a mile away from here. We'd love to have you on the program. Thank you. I've got to tell you, though, Already on the program tonight, we have a very talented lady. She is a, an actress, former model, and now a certified wine sommelier. And we're going to find out all about our talented guest. Her name, Sandra Taylor, everybody. Ken Boxer Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Zodos Bowling and Beyond and Z's Tap House for the best in family entertainment. Gustafson Dance, meeting the highest standards in dance training. The Eagle Inn, a family-owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. And now, back to our show. Welcome back. Joining us tonight is a very talented lady. She is a very successful actress, former model, and currently a very popular certified wine sommelier. You'll recognize her from many, many movies, The Princess Diaries, Runaway Bride, and Under Siege 2. She also has, has had the number one selling poster in America and was once a Playboy and Penthouse model. Here she is, everybody, the very talented Sandra Taylor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. As I mentioned before the show, I've been wanting to have you here since 2014. What it's, was it that initially wanted, why did you initially want me on? Because we, I recognize you from acting, and as okay. your acting career, and we wanted to have you on. That's so sweet. Well, yeah. I'm glad we finally made it happen. Finally. It is, you're here in Santa Barbara. First time here of yours. No, Santa I've Bar been in Santa Barbara many, many times. Yeah. Well, I, uh, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I love your little community. Thank you. It's gone through a few disasters in the last year. Well, know, we all like. have. I mean, I live in L.A. <laughs> we go through earthquakes. I lived through a mudslide. I mean. And the fire. The fires. Right yeah, everything. I, I housed five people in the recent um, Wolseley fires. Five of my friends stayed at my home for about 10 days. Yeah. 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 I'd like to find out and tell our vast audience 
you start, go, let's go back. Okay. Let's go back high school. Okay. Okay. What were you doing in high school? In what, high school, what, what was, I was destined to follow in my father's footsteps and become a mathematician. He was genius. He wrote math textbooks. He proved math theorems. He was so smart. And I, my whole life in school, thrived in mathematics. I completed calculus in high school, and at that time, you know, in 1985, it was, it was a big deal, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so I was supposed to be a mathematician, but then, unfortunately, he passed away when I was 19. And, uh, yeah, it was very sudden. It wasn't like we, he had cancer and we were able to sort of know and nurse him through mm -hmm. it. It was just, boom, one day he was gone. So, um, well, where was this? What's this? Oh, Greenwich, Connecticut. And uh, my girlfriend at the time was a model in New York City, and she said, you know, I'm a showroom model, and I, we need another model. Maybe you want to come down and try out. So I took the train in no, Grand no, no, Central no, wait, wait, Station. Before you go taking the train, I want to know, did you ever think of yourself as a model? No, no. I mean, honestly, if you look at my high school yearbook picture, I'm so glad you don't have it. <laughs> it's so say, bad. I, it I have a little space between my teeth. Uh -huh. Uh, little freckles, which I still have, but I now know how to cover them. Um, no, no, and I was so flat in high school that the boys <clears throat> nicknamed me the Plateau. Yes, <laughs> They're like, to believe. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I, swear. I was the Plateau. I was like, what is a Plateau? I literally had to look it up. Okay. It's flat land, people. <laughs> flat so, land. So now you're no on boobs. the train yes. to New York. To New York City, into Grand Central Station, 1411 Broadway. I went for the go-see. It's called the go-see. And I got the job. And to my luck, I mean, this is, I always tell my girlfriends, I go with the way the universe brings me. I was never planning on being a model. Um, Esther Williams was there. She needed a new swimwear model, and she was like, oh, you're so adorable and so fresh. For, for millennials, tell them who Esther Williams was. <clears throat> I know. She was an <laughs> icon swimwear, like, uh, how do you explain it? She was in all the Iconic, movies. yeah, back yeah. in the day, Dinah the Shore. Swim movies. So here was Esther Williams, and she said, I would love to fly you out to Los Angeles. We're doing a show at Spago on Sunset Boulevard, and we'd love you to be our feature model. And so I was like, sure. And then the other swimwear company in the house was Bare Necessities, and they said, you know, we are the swimwear uh, donor to this beauty pageant in Las Vegas. I never did a beauty pageant. I was like, no way. They're like, you should just enter. I said, okay, I won. <laughs> I, can't, I swear I won. And all these girls that I flew out to Vegas, they were all so... Um, prepared, like John Benet Ramsey, you know, they're groomed to do this their whole life. Not me. And I won. I, shocking. Wait, wait, did you feel like an imposter? I felt like, <laughs> how did this happen? Like, I'm not supposed to be winning, you know, but I think what had happened was in the interview portion, the um, MC was Andrew Stevens, and he noticed that my birthday was the day after Christmas. And he said, you know, that's got to be rough. And I just kind of blocked out the whole audience, and I go, yeah. And then I got really mad, and I go, <laughs> I've been gypped my whole life. <laughs> and the audience just laughed, and they roared, and they really liked me, <laughs> and they thought, she's so real, you know? And uh, I wound up winning that, and then just one thing led to another. And the next thing I knew, I was doing a calendar and the swimmer model, and then just things happen. Talk about the poster. So, so my girlfriend Nancy, who said we need a showroom model, was also married to a Chippendale dancer who was a poster model, Michael Rapp. And I said, I would love to do a poster. So we wound up shooting with his poster company just by happenstance because he was like, I think you should. And it wound up being the number one poster for three years consecutively. I was American. <laughs> From there, take us to Howard Stern, Playboy oh. Penthouse time. So Howard was again by happenstance. My girlfriend was dating Sam Kinison and said, oh, you know, we're going to the China Club, and I lived right there. Um, 
we go to the China Club, there's Sam Kinison. He goes, we're going on Howard tomorrow morning. We never went home. We went right from the China Club right to Howard Stern. And Howard... In New York. In New York City, sure. And that's where I'm from, and that's where, you know, it all happens, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm learning from my own story. Just things just happen. And we went on Howard, and Howard's like, who's the quiet little girl in the corner? You know, and it was me. And... Uh, we had this rapport, and next thing I knew, he was inviting me back because we had a good camaraderie. Same with Jay Leno. You know, I've been on his show like four times, and not always to promote a movie or anything. It was just because we had a nice banter, and uh, he had me back in the studio. Well, when did Penthouse Playboy come into So time? Penthouse was because the photographer for that beauty pageant mm -hmm. also was a photographer for Penthouse. Uh, okay. And then Penthouse started becoming very um, video, and I wouldn't agree to do a video. I just thought photos are one thing, but a video is a whole nother situation. But isn't it unusual or rare that you would be in both magazines? Don't they kind of? I don't think of, anyone's ever done it. Well, how did it happen that you were able to do it? You know, half years later, half and his wife Kimberly loved me, and they asked me. I met them through Anna Nicole Smith, who was a dear, dear friend of mine. And I visited Anna on the set of Naked Gun, and the makeup artist there was like, her name was Alexis Vogel, I'll never forget it. And she said, you know, we're looking for our 40th anniversary centerfold. You would be perfect. And I went in to meet them, and they were like, you're hired. We want you for our 40th anniversary. But then they found out I had done Penthouse as a centerfold, and, and Hef was like, I don't know what to do. It's, it's so you know, hard to do mm -hmm. the, the, you know, some girls have done Playboy and then Penthouse, but no one's ever done Penthouse and then Playboy. And Hef goes, we have to make this happen. Well, so he goes, at, uh, here's, here, you're on the cover with Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, that was my second cover. Are you actually in this magazine or are you just? I'm in the, both, yeah. You know, and I have, this is the cover of pl uh, Playboy that you're on. Yeah. It's, See, our audience likes this picture. Yeah. Right? Someone said they like the bathing suit. <laughs> it's very gladiator, you know. Yeah. Well, that's now way, way long ago. Yeah. Let's go down the journey again now okay. to uh, acting. You know, yeah. Most people go to acting school for years. How did, yeah. how did you get involved in the acting career? So um, I met Gary Marshall, who was a fantastic director, who was familiar with Laverne and Shirley, Happy Days, um, the Odd Couple, Mork and Mindy. There's probably not a person in this room who doesn't know who Gary Marshall is. Please tell me. Come you on. all know who Gary Marshall is. <laughs> of course. Come on. So he, um, I went to read for him because my girlfriend and I were Tecate beer models, and she was going in on this interview, and she said, you should come with me. So I went, and Gary's son heard that I was in the waiting room, and he goes, is that Sandy Korn from the Howard Stern Show? And so Gary called me in, and he's like, we love the way you handle Howard Stern. You know, we think that you handle him so well. It's not an easy task. And I, <laughs> I think I've been on Howard like 45 times, just because I was in New York, and uh -huh. um, it was convenient. And uh, just all the different things that were going on in my life, Howard just kept having me back. And so Gary said, we love the way you handle him. We're reading for this exit to Eden. You'd be perfect for this role of Reba. And I was like... No, I don't want to be your typical model actress, but thank you. I was like, that's so sweet of you. And now I look back, I'm like, what? <laughs> was I so retarded? Like, how dumb? Turn it down. Because yeah. now I realize how many girls went up for that role and how difficult it is to get on a movie set, especially of that nature. Cut to, I read for the role, I think four times, and uh, got it. And next, I was on a flight to Hawaii, sitting next to David Bowie and Dan Aykroyd. And it was called Exit to Eden, and that was my very first film. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that I got to speak. And up until that point, I had always been a mute, because when you're a model, you're basically a right. mute. Right. But I was on top of the world. I was a guest jeans model. I was a magician's assistant at the Hard Rock Hotel in Vegas being, you know, this fabulous, I was like under fire and, you know, I, I, I was on top of the world, so I didn't even really think I needed to do movies. 
And uh, Gary gave me this gift of speaking in front of the camera as opposed to just posing, and I loved it. And I remember Dan Aykroyd mm -hmm. buying my SAG card for me because um, after doing that, because you have to be eligible to join SAG. And Dan Aykroyd said, I want to be the one to buy your SAG card so we can look back one day and say, I bought your SAG card. And uh, yeah, thank you, he did. Can you see that? Isn't she just an adorable, lovely lady? So first of all, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> it just, that's been my whole life. It's like a, a, you know that game where you pull out the ball, ping pong, what is that? Pinball. 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 It's, I feel like my life has been one big pinball. I've got to ask my floor director, do we, do we have a clip coming up? I think we do. Yes. Okay. Um, kind of give us a, a lead in to what we're about to see okay. with The Tonight Show. You mentioned it earlier. Oh, on. So when my Playboy cover came out, um, it was a celebrity thing. It, it, Steven Seagal picked me to play the bartender in Under Siege 2. And Jay Leno um, asked me to reenact where I get shot. And I remember Steven Seagal going, you know, you're getting shot cutesy. <laughs> he goes, there's nothing cutesy about getting shot, Sandy. So Steven taught me how to get shot. So Jay asked me to reenact the... Uh, getting shot scene. Okay, let's watch this, okay. this scene, okay? All right. Sandra Taylor, everybody. Could you die on command? Have you, so you've learned how to die? Oh, I'll tell you, when they did the next take, I screamed bloody murder. Well, did you try? You want to try I it now? I will shoot you. It. No. Well, let's try. Let's, really let's see. Oh. All right, all right. Here we go. Now you stand there. Well, I got to fall right. back. I need well, you can fall can you back. Catch me? I'm sure Reggie, you'll help. You'll yeah, catch her okay. if she falls. Really? <laughs> Okay. Well, All right, lady, I was I... going to protect the girl, and I was like, no, don't take her. I wasn't going to shoot take... you in the knee, but uh -oh. I'll shoot you in the heart. Bang! Oh, oh God. God. How'd I do? Very, very convincing. <laughs> Did you me. believe it? Very, very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> just joining us, Sandra Taylor is our guest. We've been going down her career, actually, you know, from model, actress, and now you are a certified sommelier. So I'm, I'm going to find, let's find out more about that, but look what we, we brought with you, or with us. We have, this is a wonderful bottle. Okay. We've got Fred Brander from Brander Wines, friend of mine, and uh, he, is, he has a vineyard up in Santinez in the Los Olivos district. He wanted you to try his wine because he knows you are a certified Aww. sommelier. So, Fred Brander, thank you so very much. That's so sweet. And I'd like for you to give us a lesson on okay. what you do as a All certified right. sommelier. How did you get involved with that? And I have a well, look at this. We have a nice night out here with some glasses. Wow. So nice. <laughs> so tell us about first as your describing what you do, mm -hmm. if you could, I don't know if you've ever well, used Well, you're going to do the, the top part. Oh, I'm doing this because this Well, Sauvignon Blanc is a beautiful grape. It's usually very well, um, most people like New Zealand. The, mm -hmm. the Sauvignon Blanc grape tends to flourish in New Zealand most. So okay. let's see how it does here. But it's a very um, high acidic, it has notes of grass, has notes that people even say cat pee. Do you want me to open this too? No, I'll do that. Okay. Um, they, they say what now? Cat pee yeah. and cat grass. Pee. Yeah. Okay. And I get it. I really <laughs> do get it now. I mean, uh, but, but you. But it's fresh. It's ex it's acidic. It's a good daytime drink if you're a daytime drinker. But what do people say when they recognize you? As well, a that's interesting. Because you you're know? very popular. I mentioned that in the opening. You're a popular sommelier. So how? Now, with, now, that came out very easily. Is that good? Yeah. Well, it's young. It's, it's 2017. Okay. You, it's not going to be difficult. The t t 1993 Gaia Barolo Barbaresco is going to be a difficult cork. But they make the corks a little longer, knowing that the wines are going to age longer. This is a relatively moderately sized cork. But they're not going to make it really long, because this isn't meant to age. But a lot of wines don't even have corks anymore. I know, so that's upsetting. Is it going to change the wine in any way? 
Uh, it does because the wine, the cork allows um, breathing of the wine. Um, and when you lay the wine down, the cork is pressed up against the wine and the liquid. You know, when you're doing the synthetic or the crystal, you're okay. not getting that breathability. Everything is, you know, just stopped. So, let me smell this and tell me what I'm yeah. supposed to smell. Well, again, it's young. It's a very young wine. Okay. But it's, it's nice. It's fresh. It okay. It's, it's going to be acidic. It's going to be Amen. crisp. It's going to be a pretty wine, well, I'm let's, guessing. What would you expect now when you pour? What are we going to taste? How, what would you expect in True terms forward, of... forward, crisp, um, and acidic. And this is from the Santianez region. Would yeah. that have any effect? Well, the terroir is going to be different. Um, you know, again, like I said, the, the Sauvignon Blanc grape thrives in New Zealand because of the fog. So I think you guys get a lot of fog here too. We do. So that's going to be one good reason so why this is going to be a nice. Did you think you were going to be drinking on the set? I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Our audience one can has the champagne <laughs> at the before the show. Let's so. see. Well, it's very light. So we call this a uh, almost hay, hay or straw. You know how to do that, okay? Well, you know what Wait. you could do if you don't know is just back and forth, back okay. and forth. Now, you're a, a silver pin. Silver pin certified sommelier. How long will it take you to become a master in the art? I'm going to take a moment because my studying was so extensive that I would wake up in the middle of the night and my poor dog, <laughs> I would like have notes all over my bed and my poor dog. Um, it was so difficult that I really need like a year of no studying. Because I, some people it takes 10 years to pass. I did it in two and a half. Oh, congratulations. And what I did was I doubled up at UCLA at night and NASA, which is North American Sommelier Association, Saturdays and Sundays. So talk about my lifestyle crunch. Mm -hmm. Imagine I used to go to all these premieres and carousel balls and openings of things and now I'm in school. I can't go out and <laughs> I can't go to this premiere, this Vanity Fair Oscar party because I'm in school. So it was a lot of um, but compromise. But I have to tell you something. Just in these few minutes I can tell that this career is as important as the others. You're it, excited it is. About, you're, fact, I may be more excited. You could excited. argue that you're more excited I'm about more this. I'm more excited about this. Okay, yeah. cheers. cheers. Let's try it. You, yes. I'm not going to say anything. You do. You tell first. Okay. Oh, it's very I, pretty. I drank my. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I did not smell. I should have. Huh? Yes, exactly what I said. High acidity, fruit forward, very light. Very light. I don't think it's oaked at all. Okay, what would you tell Fred Brander about his wine? I would say nice job. I nice love time. the color. My favorite thing about it is the color, you know, the lightness of it. Mm. It would be a great daytime drink, nice chilled. It's kind of a spritz With a too, nice though. salad. That's okay. You know? That's okay, yeah. Okay, well, what is the most, most expensive wine you've ever had? And what is it? What was it? I had recently in Bordeaux a Latour 1993. And what would that cost? I think it's about 4000 a bottle. Okay. You ever been to the French Laundry? Oh, that yeah. Place? I'm I sure have. they have Yeah. I actually had a William that. Salam Pinot Noir there. But oh. I went to Petrus, which averages about 2000 a bottle, which is 100% Merlot grape. Mm -hmm. um, but I've really learned, too, it's, it's not always about the money, even though the money helps. Wait, can, um, you tell me, can a, a two-buck chuck no. from Trader Joe's come back? No, I don't even <laughs> want to talk about two-buck chuck. No. no, let's no. not get crazy. Okay. I mean, money doesn't matter, but let's not get crazy. I'm not going to have two-buck chuck ever. I'd rather have water. I'd rather just not drink. Okay. okay but you know? What excites you about wine? Obviously, I can tell you're very excited about What is it that excites you? You know what excites me? So I just booked a trip to Tuscany so I can go to Sesakaya, which is my favorite super Tuscan. What excites me is the different terroirs. So you have to understand each grape. A, a struggling vine makes a great wine. So as the vine struggles into the ground of the terroir of Tuscany or Burgundy or Bordeaux, the reason 
it's so good and these grapes grow so good is they've honed in on what grapes grow great in that area and they will suck up all the nutrients in the terroir whether it's oyster shell because Burgundy was once underwater it, back in the ice ages so when you get a uh, Sancerre mm -hmm. from the Loire Valley. It's going to be briny and, and, and have that oyster briny kind of essence to it because of the vine struggling and pulling up the nutrients from the soil. So that excites me. Were you surprised at the intricacies of wine before you even got into it? Yeah, or I was. Did you know anything about wine before you other than a consumer? No, no, other than the different grapes. And I was like, oh, I, I never knew. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon is a full-bodied red. Mm. Petit Verdot is added for the, the fragrance. Merlot is added for the smoothness. Um, you know, each grape has a, has a reason why they might add it to a blend to but smooth would, it out if it's rough. Or, well, would you like to start your own vineyard? I would. I was thinking about a little wine bar first. And, you know, because I was in the entertainment business for so long, I would love to bring my personality to a little wine bar, and I'm obsessed with Zelda Fitzgerald. So I thought of calling it Zelda's okay. and playing like Cole Porter <laughs> and serving like just these cool wine finds that I find from all over the world. And all you need to do is put your, yourself on the label it's going to sell. Oh, yeah. Don't you think, everybody? <laughs> yeah. You know, time, time, by so quickly. Are you over? It's over. What? Thank you so very much. Thank you. And good luck to you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, that's our show for tonight. Join us for our next show. When we have an individual here at the next guest, it's the current 2018 Miss Globe Europe. Valentina Yazakova is joining us. Okay, so for our guest, Sandra Taylor, and for our director, J.P. Montalvo, and the entire KBL crew on Ken Box. So good night, everybody, and thank you so much. Thank you. Ken Boxer Live is brought to you by the following sponsors. Terry Riken, your broker with a personal touch for all your real estate needs. Gustafson Dance, meeting the highest standards in dance training. Gino's Pizza, serving and delivering the best pizza throughout Santa Barbara. The Love and Spoonful, yogurt at its finest. The Daily Grind, espresso, juice, and deli. Spud Nuts Donuts. Zoto's Bowling and Beyond and Z's Tap House for the best in family entertainment. The Eagle Inn, a family-owned hotel near the beach in Santa Barbara. Petrini's Family Restaurant. La Quinta Inn and Suites. Country Catering, Meat Market and Deli. Lido's Takeout. Jack's Bagels and Bistro. The Ken Boxer Live musical theme composed and arranged by Mr. Michael J. Leslie. From all of us at Ken Boxer Live, I'm Baron Ron Heron. Good night, everyone. <laughs>